Well, could it really be this simple? Could the real key to finding a forever love be you? Relationship coach Timmy Gibson is back with us. Hey, Timmy. Hey, good to be back. Okay, so it is all about finding the right person, but is it kind of looking toward yourself and being the best version of yourself? Yes, yeah, so I always tell people it's it's not so much about finding the right person, it's about being the right person. Mm -hmm. You know, be the kind of person that the person you're looking for is looking for. There you go. But you're not asking people to change themselves. No. Be no. the best version of yourself. Yes. Well, you know, we talk about in relationships, so put your best foot forward. Yeah. Well, that's true, but if you're always putting your best foot forward, when they see your real foot and it turns them off, I always say be honest with who you are, be mm -hmm. genuine, so that it's not just always you're making sure they always see the best side of you because we all have an ugly side. We do, you know? sadly. <laughs> you try to hide that, you know, until you're really stressed and tired and right. you're like, okay, I just need to walk away and go right. to room by myself. And <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay, so it's also, um, it's about sticking to your expectations. Yeah. We kind of project that on others, don't we? Well, we do because we, 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 we often settle. Mm -hmm. And I always tell people, no, 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 stick with what, what you're looking for because mm -hmm. if you settle, then not too long after you get together, you're gonna to be very upset and you're gonna be noticing everything that's not right because you settled and you knew there was a red flag when you thought, you know, maybe not. You gotta to stick, to stick to your expectations. But don't be too picky. Right, you gotta be realistic. I mean, come on, like there's some people like, I want him to have blue eyes right. and sandy brown hair. I don't right. know, you know, yeah. well, <laughs> whatever. We, yeah, because we're not perfect. And right. so you can't expect someone else to be perfect. I love that. Okay, so now that you also say little things are big things. Okay, and this is, what proved, does that out, mean? This is proved out in all of my relationship coaching that if something is a little deal when you're dating, it's a huge deal when you're married. That is so true. They're like, well, it didn't really bother me when we were dating. Well, but now that we're married, it just chaps your hide. Mm -hmm. So I always say, listen, and I've had people come back later and they say, oh my goodness, that was such a little deal and now it's a big deal. And I said, I told you. So do you address it before yes. you get to the marriage yes. and it is a big deal? Yeah, when I have couples <laughs> say, we never fight. I'm like, okay, let's mm -hmm. get real. And I'll say, what's something little that bothers you? And they'll say, well, you know, I guess this bothers me. I'm so, okay, now here's the deal. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna yeah. be, a, you're gonna knock down, drag out fight. <laughs> and so then we, we unpack that and why it bothers them. And so does compatibility matter? Oh my goodness, compatibility <laughs> is huge. And, and people say opposites attract, and they do. I mean, you know, it, that's important um, to sharpen each other because you're a little different. But th you need to be compatible. There needs to be s things about you that draw you together, not things about each other that just repel each other. That's not a good plan to, no. to have for a long lasting relationship. Okay, tell us about um, sweat. Something about sweating it out, I don't know. Sweat, oh, well, you what gotta we? sweat it out. I mean, you, it, it, fighting, you know, we've okay. talked about fighting on okay. the show before. You gotta make sure that you're you're digging in. So and, let them see you sweat? Let is that see part sweat. of it? Let, you gotta let them see you sm smell, <laughs> you know? And I can't, there's some things I don't wait, wanna say wait, on the show. Wait, but, but the, the last thing is don't be weird. <laughs> yeah. Don't be weird, that, folks. That's, that's, a, that's a key off. to a long-lasting relationship. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you wanna make sure that people see the real you. That's the thing is, mm -hmm. it, it's that whole, I'm gonna put on this air so that you're gonna love me, you're mm -hmm. gonna like me, but that's not who I really am mm -hmm. all the time. So I, wanna, I want you to see me for who I really am so you're loving the right person. Okay, I like that. Let's go back to the being weird thing though. Yeah. Okay, so don't be weird in terms of just let your weirdness yeah. hang out a little bit, but not too much, like yeah. the balance. <laughs> you know, I, I think that when we're trying to find someone, we can be so desperate that we're just weird. Oh, and, and that's, out of desperation. And, and, yeah, okay. out of desperation, you become just weird, and and that's a big theme. I always say, listen, you guys act, you're acting weird. Don't be weird. Just be be you, which might be weird <laughs> in your own quirky way. But sometimes we get so intense or so desperate. There's I talk someone to, out there that loves the person that's weird, though. That's right, right. right? That's right. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank it was you. fun as always.